Alrighty, and we're back. So, after a couple of technical issues, I believe we should be good to go. Hello everyone, this is Carolina Mike, your host of SharePoint in 60 Seconds. And today I want you to join me while we talk about conditional formatting. That's right, we're going to be looking at conditional formatting today for um, SharePoint Online. This works for list and document libraries. Now, before today, there was a way that we could format these, uh, these columns and rows and do some pretty cool stuff, but you had to either know something about JSON or go out to Microsoft websites and get some copy-paste, some stuff like this. Now, if you're into that, awesome. I have the uh, utmost respect for anybody that can get into, dig into the code. Um, however, now we don't have to do that. Microsoft has made it infinitely easier for us to pop in here and easily change this text how it looks. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This will revolutionize the way that you and your users interact with SharePoint Online as it relates to your list and your document libraries. So how do we make that happen? Well, first thing we do is we go to the view and we're going to click on Format Current View. Now some of this is repeat for anyone who, well, actually I, I know that no one has joined in the live stream, but if you've been watching on the replay, uh, you may already know this, but, so I apologize for the repetition, but I want to make sure that everybody has a chance to see it um, all the way through. So Format Current View. And the old school, we had this, alternating rows. It was okay, but this right here is knock your socks off. Not kidding. So we're going to go in here. Um, we can manage the rules right away. And I recall removing this rule before, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. So we hit the More Options, Delete, so it's just fresh going in there. Okay? Oh, actually, you know what? Let me back up a second here. Let's, uh, oh, okay, there's a there's something I wanted to show you back here, actually. So before we even dig in, before we dig into any of this down here, we need to pay attention to this drop-down. The first few times I went in here, I missed it because I was just so excited to get right into conditional formatting. But you want to take a moment, breathe, because I don't think it's going anywhere, so it'll be here. This tells you which column it shall apply to. So we hit the drop down and we have um, the entire row, so basically every column, just the name column, just modified, just rating, just created. And I do believe if we had additional columns listed it would give us all the columns that are available in this view. We can run a test later just to verify. So I'm going to play with just the name because the entire row gets to be a little big on the eyes. Like it's like, whoa. But I think the name, if you highlight the name, that gives it just enough visibility without just, you know, making it just wild. So we'll go with name. And now we can go with the conditional formatting. We have a default rule here. Um, I believe this shows up right away. I've been playing with this list a while, so uh, you can see that your default rule is basically showing everything as graded or graded, shaded in gray. So there you go. It's got everything shaded. But let's say you want to let's say you want to take a look at all of the Lovets and you want them to be green. So here we got the rating for Lovett. We'll go in, and I'm going to go for no fill, and I'm going to go for more styles and make that green, make the font color green. We'll save that. Let's make it bold and make it stand out a little bit more. There we go. That, that looks a lot better. So we've got that. Now we've got to actually um, go back here. Let's save this. 
uh, we've got to go and we've got to uh, modify this rule because right now everything is showing up. It's not trimming it out to just the Lovitz. So we got to go in and edit that rule. And it's so simple, so straightforward. If this, then that. So if you've downloaded the IFTTTTT app, you're already doing this. So choose a column. We're going to go with the rating. And we'll say, and you might be wondering, well, why isn't um, name showing here? But we'll figure that out. I feel like I know the answer, but we'll, we'll dig into it later. Um, so we'll go to rating. And we're going to go with choose a comparison. Rating is equal to. And if your column that you're using as the key, if it has choices, it's going to give you those choices in the drop down. So we'll say love it. You can add additional conditions. We're going to stop there unless someone asks. And there's your sample text. And it gives you real time. Real time, it shows you exactly what it's going to do. So, I mean, I, I can't believe how easy this is. It's super easy. And we're going to close it. And now we're done. So we have just easily, within a matter of a few clicks... Anytime something gets rated, let's test it. Let's make sure it, it works. So let's go here and uh, we're going to use the bulk edit feature. And we're going to go in. We're going to say love it and save. Look at that. Instant. Boom. This is pretty awesome. Well, let's say maybe you want to clear that. You want to clear all of that. All we got to do is pop into Format Current View. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to go in to what we did. So we went into, we, we were modifying the name. Like we're, we're highlighting the name. We're affecting it in a way. And we can affect different uh, columns if we want separately. Uh, you'd have to create, I believe, a rule, a uh, separate rule for each column. But we're going to we're gonna focus on, um, well, we're going to clear things out. So let's go in here and manage the rules. So we manage the rule that we had on the name. We can see the rule saved. So we want to get rid of it. We want to delete the rule. Save. Done. Oh, snap. You know what? Okay, we saw that, right? So let's refresh. Okay. Well, obviously I did something wrong. So let's go fix it. In the comments, I'm sure you're seeing it. You're probably screaming at the top of your lungs, Do this! Do this! Well, I do know that I want to... Let's try, oh, okay, well, there we go. See, when I chose name, it went to the uh, the rule for the, or the formatting for that. Should be able to deselect this. I should hope, save, <clears throat> and then refresh. There we go. You see me looking over, I'm just looking to see uh, the comments, so. And I realize that I was kind of in the way so, oh, we don't want to do that. I'm still learning this stuff, y'all. Still learning. And I'm going to go up here. Try that for now. All right. So, I think I'm going to pause there. If you have something that you want to see demoed, with this new feature or anything that has to do with SharePoint Online, uh, SharePoint 2019, because they're pretty much the same thing, um, anything list-related, uh, library-related, pages, uh, Microsoft Teams, we can definitely get into that. So let me know what you want to know, and we will do a live stream about it. And I'll even... You can log into the live stream and I can walk you through it 
live and help solve your problem live. How many more times can I say live? All right. So with that, first, please like, subscribe, share, and let us know what you want to see. This is Carolina Mike for SharePoint in 60 Seconds saying SharePoint rocks, and so do you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and yes, you.